Today, we will learn about addition and subtraction of integers. Understanding the addition and subtraction of integers is useful in many situations in our daily life. For example, look at Rahul's bank account. Here, amount credited is expressed with a positive sign and amount debited is expressed with a negative sign. To find the balance, we need to add the balance amount with the debited or credited amount. In this way, addition and subtraction of integers can be used in many situations like finding the total profit, recording the increase or decrease in temperature, etc. Let us suppose the temperature of a certain place is plus 5 degrees centigrade. If it increases by plus 3 degrees, then the new temperature can be found by finding the value of plus 5 plus plus 3. If the signs of the integers are the same, then they are added without sign. After that, the sign is included with the result. While adding two positive integers, we add them without sign and later the plus sign is included in the result 8. That is, it is expressed as plus 8. Similarly, if the temperature is minus 5 degrees centigrade and there is a change of minus 3 degrees centigrade in the temperature, then the new temperature can be found by finding the value of minus 5 plus minus 3. Here, we are adding two negative integers having the same sign. Therefore, in this case also, we will add them without a sign. Later, the minus sign is included in the result 8. That is, it is expressed as minus 8. Now let us suppose the temperature is plus 5 degrees centigrade and there is a change of minus 3 degrees centigrade in the temperature. So how will you find the new temperature? Think for a while. Let me tell you. It can be found by finding the value of plus 5 plus minus 3. If numbers to be added have different signs, then we ignore the signs and subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Later, the sign of the larger number is included in the result. Here, we subtract 3 from 5 and the sign of the larger number, which is plus, is included in the result, giving us plus 2. Similarly, if we have to find minus 5 plus plus 3, then we first carry out 5 minus 3 which gives the result 2. Then include the sign of the larger number that is minus sign of minus 5. Therefore, the answer is minus 2. Addition of integers can also be done on a number line. To find the value of plus 5 plus plus 3 on a number line, Mark plus 5 on the number line first. Since 5 is a positive integer, it is located 5 steps towards the right of 0. While adding two integers on a number line, if the sign of the second integer is positive, then move towards the right side of the first integer. If the sign is negative, then move towards the left of the first integer. Since the sign of the second integer is plus, I move 3 steps towards the right of 5. We now arrive at plus 8. Similarly, if we have to find the value of minus 5 plus minus 3, move 5 steps towards the left of 0. And since the sign of the second integer is negative, move 3 steps again towards the left of the first integer. We now arrive at minus 8, which is the result of minus 5 plus minus 3. Now suppose we have to find the value of plus 5 plus minus 3 on the number line. How do you think we'll do it? You got it right. To mark plus 5 first, we move 5 steps towards the right of 0. Now to add minus 3 to it, we move 3 steps towards the left of the first integer, resulting in plus 2. Now let's learn how subtraction of integers is done. But before doing so, we need to understand one thing. If the sum of two numbers is zero, then they are additive inverse of each other. For example, plus 5 and minus 5, plus 3, minus 3, 
plus 9 and minus 9, etc. What do you understand by looking at these pairs of numbers? Any thoughts? Let me tell you. Additive inverse of any number is obtained by writing it with the opposite sign. Now that that's understood, let's subtract the integers. Suppose the temperature decreases from plus 5 degrees centigrade to a minus 3 degrees centigrade. Find out the change in temperature. How? Well, in order to do so, we need to subtract the final temperature minus 3 degrees from the initial temperature of plus 5 degrees. Whenever we subtract one integer from another, we add the additive inverse of the integer being subtracted to the first integer. In this case, if we want to subtract plus 5 from minus 3, then we add to minus 3 the additive inverse of plus 5. That is, we add minus 5. And we've already learned how to add integers. Here, the addition of minus 3 plus minus 5 is minus 8. In order to find the subtraction of integers on a number line, first, convert subtraction into addition. We later add the numbers to obtain the result. We can also do the subtraction on a number line without conversion. To do this, we find the location of the first integer. While subtracting two integers on a number line, if the sign of the second integer is positive, then we will move towards the left side of the first integer. And if the sign is negative, then we move towards the right side of the first integer. In order to subtract, mark minus 3 on the number line, which is three steps towards the left of 0. Now, since we need to subtract the positive integer plus 5, we move 5 steps towards the left side of minus 3, thus reaching minus 8. Similarly, if we have to find the value of minus 5 minus minus 3, mark minus 5 on the number line, which is 5 steps towards the left of 0. Since we need to subtract the negative integer minus 3, we move 3 steps towards the right side of minus 5. Thus, we reach minus 2 which is the result of minus 5 minus minus 3. Today, we have learned the addition and subtraction of integers. In the next video, we will learn this in a better way with some examples. Today, we will see some examples of addition and subtraction of integers. Example 1. Given below are the details of Rahul's bank account. Find out the value of A. By adding the money credited or debited to the balance, we get a new balance. Here, plus 1,225 plus 3,360 is equal to plus 4,585. Similarly, if we add plus 4,585 and minus 1,500, then we get the value of A. That is, A is equal to 4,585 plus minus 1,500. You must have noticed that we are adding a positive and a negative integer. To solve this, Ignore the signs and subtract the smaller number from the larger number, resulting in 3085. Now add the sign of the larger number, which is plus, to the result, resulting in plus 3085. We can also find this result by the subtraction operation. Any ideas? You got it right. We can find the previous balance by subtracting the amount debited minus 1750 from the next balance plus 1335. In order to solve this, convert subtraction into addition. Keep the first integer as it is, then replace the minus sign with a plus sign and take the additive inverse of the second integer, which is plus 1750. Here, both the signs are the same. 
Therefore, we add both the numbers ignoring the sign and the result will be 3085. Now add the common sign plus to the result. This is the value of A. Example 2. Ajay is sick today. On examination, the doctor found that his temperature was 103 degrees Fahrenheit. The doctor gave Ajay some medicine which he took. His temperature reduced by 4 degrees Fahrenheit. So what would Ajay's current temperature be? Before medication, Ajay's temperature was 103 degree Fahrenheit which is a positive integer. After medication, Ajay's temperature reduced by 4 degrees. Here, we denote the decrease in temperature by a minus sign. Therefore, the decrease in temperature is minus 4 degree Fahrenheit. To find the new temperature, we add the increase or decrease in temperature with the previous temperature. Therefore, the new temperature will be plus 103 plus minus 4. Here, a positive integer and a negative integer are getting added. To solve this, first subtract the numbers ignoring the signs resulting in 99. And since the sign of the larger number is plus, Ajay's current temperature is plus 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the number line, find the values of the following operations. In minus 3 plus plus 7, the first number is minus 3. Therefore, we move 3 steps towards the left from 0 on the number line. Since plus 7 is a positive integer, we move 7 steps towards the right from minus 3. Thus, we reach plus 4, which is the result of minus 3 plus plus 7. To subtract minus 4 and plus 5, first convert subtraction into addition. In order to do this, keep the first integer as it is and write the addition sign in the place of the subtraction sign. Now write the additive inverse of the second integer. The additive inverse of plus 5 is minus 5. Now let's solve this on the number line. Since the first integer is minus 4, move 4 steps towards the left from 0. And since the second integer is minus 5, we move 5 steps towards the left of minus 4 on the number line. Thus, we reach minus 9, which is the result of minus 4 plus minus 5. Today, we have seen examples of addition and subtraction of integers. In the next video, we will learn the misconceptions related to this. Today, we will see the misconceptions related to addition and subtraction of integers. Which of the following statements is correct? The first statement says that the temperature increase is 8 degrees centigrade from minus 2 degrees centigrade. To find the current temperature, many times subtraction is carried out. The expression is written as minus 2 minus plus 8. This is an incorrect understanding. To find the final temperature, we need to find the initial temperature with the increase in the temperature. According to this, the expression will be minus 2 plus plus 8. Therefore, the expression is incorrect. It cannot be the answer to the given question. In the second statement, a milkman gets a profit of Rs 120 on Monday and it's expressed as plus 120. Similarly, he faces a loss of Rs 200 on Tuesday. As we need to find the total loss, we will add plus 120 and minus 200. Therefore, the second statement is correct. To find the total loss, sometimes it is understood that loss has to be subtracted from the profit. That is, plus 120 minus minus 200. This is an incorrect understanding. Misconception 2 Find the result of 2 plus minus 6. When two integers have different signs, in order to add them, we have to consider the value of both the numbers without sign. This is called a numeral value. After the smaller number is subtracted from the larger number. Later, the sign of the larger number is included in the result. By doing so, we get the correct answer, option 1, that is minus 4. While adding two integers, 
Sometimes the signs are ignored and the numbers are added, which gives the incorrect answer 8. Similarly, many times the numeral values, that is, values without sign are simply added and sign of the larger number 6 is included. Therefore, the incorrect answer minus 8 is chosen. Today, we have seen the misconceptions related to the addition and subtraction of integers.